Law and Home Affairs Minister Keishan Mugam told the House that he removed himself completely from the decision-making process relating to his rental of 26 Redoubt Road, and that was to avoid any conflict of interest. Now, he said that he asked then-senior Minister of State of Law, Indrani Raja, to handle any issues that might come up with the Law Ministry. Now, he also informed Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien and the Ministry's then Deputy Secretary about this. And this was so that there would be a chain of command that did not involve him. Actual potential or perceived conflict can only arise where I have an interest in a matter. I make a decision on the matter, then that will be actual conflict. If I have an interest and I remain able to make a decision, even though I do not actually make any decision, there can be potential or perceived conflict of interest. But once I recuse myself, I can't make a decision, nor am I potentially able to make a decision. Mr. Shanmugam added that he did not profit through renting out his family home to live in a rented state property. He stressed that he's paying market rent for the Ridout Road property and invested much of his own money on several repairs. I'm not making any money from the difference in rentals. I pay for the rental of 26 Ridout Road, mostly from renting out my family home, but taking into account property tax because the family home is now non-owner occupied and two, income tax on the rental proceeds, there is a net deficit. I top up the deficit. I am in essence using my previous lawyer's income to pay for the rental for 26 Redout Row. Based on my current income, I would not have offered to rent 26 Redout Road. That is based on my personal approach to finances. Mr. Shanmugam also addressed the size of the land on which the bungalow sits. He said that he did not want or need the extra 150,000 square feet of land as part of the lease. He had offered to maintain the surrounding land at his own cost, just so to avoid any problems for himself. But the Singapore Land Authority told him the land must be part of the lease for him to do that. My reason, if you own a landed property, you want a large land area. You benefit from the capital appreciation. But if you are a tenant, any land under your lease becomes your own responsibility, and thus an additional land area of 150,000 square feet means additional legal responsibility. For example, there are large trees in the property. If any of them fell, it could be serious. Another issue mosquitoes. The larger your land, the greater the responsibility for potential health risks, including mosquitoes.